Oh, when you're well, with I want my, I want to look good for my wife, too. You right, know, I can't right. just roll out, you know, looking nasty. <laughs> How long have you been married now? A year and a half. Oh, I'll change. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eddie Murphy is an American actor, comedian, stand-up comedian, voice actor, television producer, singer, screenwriter, musician, film producer, and film director. Comedy Central ranked this comedian number 10 on its list of the 100 greatest stand-ups of all time. He joined the cast of Saturday Night Live in 1980 and remained at the show until 1984. The famous actor has received five Golden Globe Award nominations and in 2007 won a Golden Globe. And for his performance in Dream Girls, which was released in 2006, Murphy was nominated for an Oscar. He's also famous for playing multiple roles in films such as Coming to America, Vampire in Brooklyn, Meet Dave, and The Nutty Professor films. Oh, he did that. Miles probably did that on purpose. Oh, probably, yeah. Send him out there and just tell him. <laughs> tell him, Joe, yeah, I went to get my jacket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Edward Regan Murphy, but is also known as Ed, Murph, and Eddie. He was born April 3, 1961 in Brooklyn, New York City, USA, making him 59 years old at the time of this production. He stands 1.75 meters or 5 feet 8 inches tall. Murphy's also a great philanthropist. He often donates money to the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Furthermore, Eddie has donated money to family support, creative arts, cancer education, homeless, and health charities. The famous comedian donated $100,000 to the Strike Relief Fund of the Screen Actors Guild, and he's also donated money to the Martin Luther King Jr. Center. Murphy loves to play guitar and enjoys making music. Do you know anyone that doesn't have an email address? Well, you'd be shocked to know that Eddie has admitted he does not have an email address. His favorite wrestler is Hulk Hogan and his favorite color is blue. Moreover, he loves pancakes. And his favorite TV series is Jail. His elder brother, Charlie, was also a comedian and actor who died in 2017 due to leukemia. This actor has 10 children from his different relationships, and back in the 1980s, he was dating Paulette McNeely. The couple had a son named Eric, and after they broke up, Eddie started dating Tamara Hood. Their son, Christian, was born in 1990, and later Murphy started dating Nicole Mitchell. They met in 1988 and lived together for nearly two years before marrying in 1993. The couple has five children together, including Bria, Miles, Shane, Zola, and Bella. In 2005, Nicole filed for divorce, which was finalized in 2006, and Murphy had to pay $15 million in the divorce settlement. Then he dated former Spice Girl Melanie Brown between 2006 and 2007. When Brown became pregnant with her daughter, Angel Iris Murphy Brown, she said that Murphy was the father of the child. However, Murphy said that he doesn't know who the father of the child is. In June 2007, a DNA test confirmed this was Murphy's child. Murphy also dated Tracy Edmonds and Paige Butcher. Oh, but that's all in the past. Huh? You're not into Elvis anymore? Now I'm a big Hendrix fan. I'm a Hendrix fan. Okay. I knew I was going to Elvis. Born in Brooklyn, he was the second child of his parents and was raised in the borough's Bushwick neighborhood. Eddie's mother, Lillian, worked as a telephone operator, while his father, Charles Edward Murphy, was an amateur actor and comedian and a police officer. Charles and Lillian divorced when Murphy was only three years old, and when Eddie was eight, his father died, and Charlie and Eddie had to spend one year in foster care since their mother became ill. When Eddie was nine years old, his mother remarried and the family moved to Long Island. As a teenager, the actor became obsessed with comedy after he heard a Richard Pryor comedy album. In 1976, Murphy joined a talent show, making an impression of Al Green, and in 1980, he joined the cast of Saturday Night Live when he was 19 years old. He lifted the show to new heights, which was previously struggling in the ratings. The comedian made his big screen debut by appearing in 48 Hours back in 1982. He quickly became a successful actor 
and appeared in hit movies including Beverly Hills Cop, Coming to America, Trading Places, and the second part of 48 Hours. He's also produced several films including Vampire in Brooklyn, Harlem Nights, and Life. Eddie's also a singer, and his hit singles include Party All the Time and Put Your Mouth on Me. In the early 1990s, he recorded an album called Love's All Right. I have no complaints. I hope it don't switch one day. You know, my wife just show up, you know, looking nasty one day. <laughs> hey, all messed up. Hey, we've been married long enough. This is me. <laughs> Murphy has regularly been one of the highest grossing actors in the world, and his films have grossed around $6.7 billion at the box office globally, making him the sixth highest grossing American actor at the box office. He's made more than $300 million in salaries and back-end royalties during his career. Back in 1981, Eddie earned only $4,500 for each episode of Saturday Night Live. In 1982, his salary was increased to $30,000 per episode, and in 1984, he earned $1 million for appearing in the film Best Defense. He charged $8 million for working on the film Coming to America, $16 million for The Nutty Professor, $17.5 million for Dr. Doolittle, and $20 million for Nutty Professor 2. Last year, he was paid $70 million for recording a series of comedy specials for Netflix. Eddie Murphy's total net worth is $200 million. Eddie Murphy has owned several extraordinary properties. Back in 1998, Murphy and his ex-wife Nicole purchased a mansion in Granite Bay, California. The property covers 11,000 square feet and features 10 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, a tennis court, a large swimming pool, an outdoor kitchen, a full-size gym, and a 5,200-square-foot guest cottage. After the couple separated, the house sold for $6.1 million. And when he landed his regular spot on Saturday Night Live, he purchased a studio apartment in New York City for $300,000, which covers an area of 800 square feet. Then in 1991, this house sold for $1.5 million. After selling his Granite Bay house, the actor purchased a 3.7-acre, undeveloped lot for $10 million in Beverly Hills. Eddie purchased the property in 2001 and constructed a brand new mansion covering an area of 40,000 square feet, featuring 32 rooms. The luxurious property has nine bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a tennis court, a large swimming pool, a bowling alley, and a library. Back in 1988, he purchased Cher's Egyptian-styled house in Beverly Hills and bought this property for $6.4 million, which features six bedrooms, a gym, and six bathrooms. The actor also purchased a 25,000-square-foot home in Inglewood, New Jersey. The gated property has an indoor bowling alley, seven bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, a spacious car garage, and an indoor as well as outdoor swimming pool. Furthermore, the guest house of this property sits on two acres and features five bedrooms. Murphy listed this home for $30 million in 2004, and Alicia Keys eventually purchased the property for $12 million in 2012. Moreover, Eddie also purchased a 15-acre private island in the Bahamas for $15 million. This island is called Rooster K, and the actor previously owned another private island known as Pearl Island. Eddie Murphy owns the following cars, a Mercedes-Benz SLS, a Rolls-Royce Wraith, a Ferrari 599, a Jeep Wrangler, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, an Aston Martin, and a Rolls-Royce Phantom drophead coupe. The popular actor also owns a 229-foot luxury mega yacht. 